Welcome to Dark Horse Auto and Diesel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the front bumper cover and headlights from a 2007 to 2014 Ford Edge. This one is a 2010, which is exactly the same procedure all the way back to 2007. The 11 to 14 should be very similar, if not exactly the same. This video is actually an excerpt from my engine removal video, but I figured this section warranted its own separate video so that it'd be easier to find for anybody that needs this information. To get the front bumper off, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and take this here out from underneath, which obviously this one's already off, but it's pretty straightforward on how to take it off. Obviously you're gonna be under the vehicle, but there's several of these little push pins and what you do is just get a screwdriver up underneath this outer part here and it pops up and then you can pull it out and then there's a couple screws going along here and those are going to be five and a half millimeter. So mostly what it's going to be is you've got four of these going across the top and they're just Phillips. You unscrew them, they pop out and then these here, those are 10 millimeter and there's two, two of those bolts and then four of these and then come down here to the fender well and there's supposed to be a bolt there um, but there's a couple bolts little screws they're five and a half millimeter that go around here and there's one on the bottom too and we'll take all those out and then we should be able to just slide the front bumper completely off of here great 10 millimeters missing of course it is uh. Take these out and a lot of times they don't cooperate. Oh, that one did. That's how they're supposed to work. And then you can just pull the whole thing out. All right, good times. So if they don't work, you pretty much just have to get in here with a screwdriver and pop it up because if you don't take the center piece out this will just be expanded out and you'll end up breaking the whole clip well hi shelby And once you got those out, make sure you put them in a place where you're going to lose them. And I was correct, those are 10 millimeter. And obviously you don't have to have the front wheels off yet, but it makes it a lot easier if I have to explain to you how to do that. This is way too complicated for you. And then on the other side, conveniently, I have one missing, two missing already, actually. And that one's already missing. So next, along in here on both sides, it's just clipped in. And so you just want to get your hand in there and it just pops out. Be careful to try to not break the clips on it. You really don't have to pull very hard and just be careful with it. There we go. Next, if you've got fog lights, you want to come in and unhook those. And just come through the side here and reach in here and unclip it. I'll show you what we got going on here. You just need to unclip that from the light itself. Try not to break the clips. One down, and then the other side. So now we should be able to just grab a hold of the bumper. And the whole thing just comes right off. And it weighs probably 15, 20 pounds. It's not heavy at all. 
All right, next we'll go ahead and remove the headlights since we're right here. And there's a couple different style of clips you'll have to deal with. Uh, this one here is, it's got two tabs here. You'll spread those apart and push down on it. This one here just has this tab here. I'll just go ahead and do it. Two tabs on this one. And then this one here, uh, on the passenger side, it's on the top. You'll push down on it. But you push up here on the bottom, and then it just comes right out. Then we'll go ahead and get our 10 millimeter again. And we got a bolt here. Now, the whole thing just comes right out. Do it again over here. 